That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. Cooking tips for the blind is today's topic, and I am speaking with Flo. Flo has a Facebook page entitled The Blind Side of Cooking with Flo. Also, within this video, she will be demonstrating two pieces of equipment which are very blind friendly use you are blind blind user friendly excuse me just waking up this morning now if you are enjoying this channel please continue to share like and when you subscribe hit that notification bell and i want to thank all my new subscribers all past subscribers as well so with that being said let's jump into the video with my girl my friend my newly found friend flo how are you doing today Hey, hey, everybody. Hi. Um, tell the, the audience a little bit about yourself, where you're from, how you lost your sight, and after that, we'll move on to the good stuff. Yeah, okay. Well, originally, I'm from New Jersey. Go Jersey. Go Giants. Um, I got married and raised my boys in Orlando, Florida, where they still, my grown boys, died. And I live in North Carolina. I also have macular degeneration, retinal detachment, glaucoma, myopia, and I also have aneurysms and hearing loss. Yeah, I think that's about covered. <laughs> I think that's about <laughs> okay. And um, you have any kids? Excuse me. You have any kids? Yes, yeah, so I have two sons. Okay, so Steven with all Stephen and Robert. Okay, Stephen, what's up, Stephen and Robert? Now, <clears throat> you um have any other uh, hobbies aside from cooking, or is cooking just your major thing that you enjoy doing? Look, cooking is my major thing. I love doing it. I love doing it for me, or I love doing it for you know a whole bunch of people. Okay, cool. And I love to travel too. I like to visit up to New Jersey where family and friends live. Down to Florida, in Orlando, or in Florida. And, and do you cook for them as well? Oh yes, absolutely. Okay. I cook for them. Now I like the idea that regardless of uh, you having sight or not having sight for that matter, you still are able to uh, do what it is that you want to do, and that's that's the premises of this show to let everybody know that even though you have a uh, visual impairment or maybe a physical impairment, you still are able to continue. Mm -hmm your life so tell everybody about your your uh your cooking i have a cutting board that has black on one side and white on the other and i use that for contrast towards my vegetables or meat or whatever and sanitize in between um i also have what they call of gloves that are you know the fingers are kind of separate so they're not oven mitts and it's it's so much easier to use those and i have accessible um like a the new wave oven or the cuisinart toaster oven air fryer or the cuisinart grill they have control knobs or buttons that you can feel okay we're going to talk about the uh the new wave oven and the uh wild bacon in the in the, in the few because uh, as I mentioned, those are that there are some um, equipment out there that's very uh, accessible uh, to the blind, especially those uh, newly independent blind people who want to come out uh, and learn how to cook and things of nature. So you definitely gonna um, you know do your just in terms of uh, showing us how those things work. But in the meantime, can you provide some tips to those individuals who are just starting out and want to be in independent? and kind of afraid to uh, to get out in the kitchen and and what have you so you know so that so they won't be afraid uh provide some tips for them that that, that can help them out 
Okay. Um, well, the knives definitely have a good set of knives. Um, I'd say the sharper the better. The less you cut yourself. I know it makes no sense, but it's true. Um, a good set of knives, and when you want to cut something, curve the tips of your fingers in on your hands, and this way you won't cut your fingers. You know, curve them in a little bit so you can slice, or you can get a metal pronged guide, cutting guide that you find in one of the stores. And that will help you too, also cut and slice tomatoes or anything. Okay. Would you, would you say that would you say that it's rather hard as as a uh, um, a blind person to, to uh, maneuver in the kitchen, or you've developed a way to where it it's very easy for you? I developed a way to where it's easy for me. I have you know a section of my kitchen. I have my stove and I have my, I keep my plates over by my stove. This way, when I'm ready to plate up my food, as they call it, then my plates are right there. I don't have to go on the other side of the kitchen to get them. So little tricks like that is best. Let's mess. Okay. So y'all, Definitely uh, take heed to what she is telling you all because these are some very, very, very uh, interesting tips that you all can use to, uh, you know, help you around the kitchen. And basically, it's also just become familiarized with the kitchen because as a blind person, I, I don't have any problem uh, cooking certain dishes and just, you know, uh, maneuvering in my kitchen because like like Flo said, you know, you have to be acquainted with 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 your kitchen and, and kind of like put things in a, in a, in an order to where you know where they are, where they are. Am I correct? Yes. Now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna uh, show the show you the pieces of equipment that I was referring to, and um, I'm, I'm gonna play it, and she's gonna demonstrate it, and this, and then after the the clip, she's gonna come back and talk a little bit about um, the first thing is the wow. Um, the wild bacon. So I'm gonna play it, and uh, and we'll be, we'll be back on the other side, and she's gonna talk more about it. Hold on. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the blind side of cooking with Flo. Here I'm demonstrating what is called the wild bacon. Here you have a cylinder on the left hand side. It's white and to the right of that you drape the bacon over the slats and there's seven slats and you pick up this slat thing and you put it inside the cylinder and then here's the lid now it looks like a little picture now, this is the lid that goes on Put it on where you hear a click of some sort. So right. Hard to do with one hand. But I tried. Oh, there it goes. And I clicked. That means the thing is in the middle. And oh, I'm going to show you this auto locks on the one side of the bacon. Well, or well bacon, and it goes down when do you want to unlock it and so left. up Little. when you want to lock it and then I'm going to place it in the microwave for about five to six minutes and there you have the so bacon Little. have a nice day y'all and remember be safe and y'all come back now you're here there you have it. That's the wild bacon. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about the wild bacon and whatever you don't mind. It's a great little gadget, especially if, you know, people don't like cooking bacon on the stovetop. It's very tricky and they, it does burn. Um, the wild bacon, the, it's little slats. It look, it's like a picture um, that you pour juice out of or something. And it has this little insert that has little slats on it that you drape the bacon over. And I think there's either six or seven slats. So you can make six or seven 
pieces of bacon at one time and you put the in the bacon well and you close the lid and then you put it in your microwave for about five to six minutes depending on your microwave but you have to make sure your microwave is tall enough for this bacon well as well it's a great okay. little device now for those who can't see it tell them exactly how it, how it looks describe it for them it's um it's round and it's like a picture that you would make orange juice in and pour out mm -hmm. and this way you can pour out the extra fat that's in the bottom when it dries out you can just dump it right in the garbage and you don't have to worry about the fat going down your drain okay that's interesting now the next piece of equipment is going to be the new wave ovens so y'all check it out and she'll be back to describe more about that. Good morning everyone and welcome to the blind side of cooking for Flo. In this right. video what? is a thing called a new wave oven. No, it is not my machine. And right. I'm making two hash browns in it. You can use the new wave oven to air fry because I made fried chicken in it last night. And right. the numbers and the start button and the cook time button are all accessible because they're raised up. So I have the hash browns in here. I pressed cook time, which is the second button on the right going in and then 15 minutes and then I press start. And hopefully the hash browns will be golden brown in 15 minutes. Along with that, I'm making scrambled eggs and bacon in what they call a bake wow bacon, which is a picture-like thing that you drape the bacon over and you cook the bacon for about five minutes in the microwave and out comes crispy bacon. Have a great day, everyone. Can y'all come back now? You here? And remember, kiss my grits. Stop recording video. <laughs> okay. Tell the uh, describe the, the the oven to those individuals who are are, are totally blind. Huh? Hi everyone. Um, the new wave oven is round and it has about three sections: the bottom section, the dome, and the motor that has fan and it cooks things by cyclonic air and you can program the temperatures um and it has the um fans that you can actually feel not control knobs but you can actually feel because they are raised and there are also videos in youtube on how to use this and that's how i learned how to use it it was very easy to use they make great pizza bagels Okay, so it's like a so, so it's like a, 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 a like a regular oven. Yes, and it's round and it's you can put it on your countertop instead of heating up your whole entire oven. Okay, now the the dishes that you cook in this the wild bacon and the uh, new wave oven does the food how does the food taste does, does it taste the same? The wild bacon, yes, it makes the bacon crispy. Huh? All right, well, yeah. That's what it is, y'all. Um, before we close, do you have any last minute tips? Any more tips that you can provide for any individual who who are who's kind of reluctant about getting out in the kitchen and, and cooking and whatnot for the first time and things like that? What what can what can you provide for them to give them that encouragement? Okay, a great tip is for if you want to want to slice something and you have your cutting board, take one of those rubber liner under the cutting board so it doesn't slide around on the counter okay well all right then um i want to thank everybody for tuning into third eye visions and i want to thank Flo again tell everybody where they can find you i love the blind side of cooking with Flo, and i also okay. have a, with that name a what with that name go ahead the blind side of cooking with Flo. And, and you say you also have something else? Go ahead. A group of the okay. same name. Okay, it's on uh, Facebook, y'all. So y'all definitely check it out. And she, I mean, I, I ran across her when I was looking for uh, some some cooking ideas, and it definitely definitely 
was very interesting. So with that being said, Flo, I want to thank you for coming on the show. And I wish you the best of luck. And if you uh, have any more ideas you want to share with, with, with the audience, just let me know. <laughs>